Hello, welcome to Maths Palace with Ajibola Dockers. Today, we shall be exploring the world of mathematics again. Come along with me into the palace as we find some solutions to mathematical problems. Today's topic is bearing. Bearing. Most of the times, this topic comes along with distance. We call it bearing and distance. But for this part, we shall be discussing bearing only. Now, the word bearing means direction. The word bearing means direction. Or you say the position of a place or of a point. The position of a place or of a point. Now, Having said that, take note that we have what we call the four cardinal points. The four primary cardinal points. These four primary cardinal points are the north, the east, the south, and the west, the north, the east, that's going clockwise now. We have the north, the east, moving clockwise. That is, from your top, you go this way, the north, the east, the south, the west. North, east, southwest. Now, these are known as the four primary cardinal points. There are also what we call the secondary cardinal point. The secondary cardinal point are the northeast, and between the north and the east, the southeast, between the south and the east, the southwest. And the northwest. These four are referred to as the secondary cardinal points. Now, note that also a complete cycle is made up of 360 degrees. That is, the total angle in a cycle is 360. And that's the way your clock in your various ohms are. We have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 again. That makes a complete revolution. From 12 back to 12 again makes one complete revolution. That is, it completes one full cycle, which in angle is 360 degrees. So if I have 360 degrees in a complete cycle, and if I divide this cycle into four, four equal parts. Four equal parts. That means that each quadrant will give me what? 90 degrees. Remember, the total angle here is 360 degrees. So, dividing this cycle into four equal parts makes each of them 90 degrees. That is, four in 360. That is 90 degrees. So, each quadrant now, each part of the four side now, it's called a quadrant. So each quadrant is 90 degrees. I have 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. Now, this is the same as we have it for the cardinal points. That is, from the north to the east, we give you 90 degrees. Now take note, if I move from the north to the east, to the south, to the west, and back to the north. That means I have completed one revolution, and that is 360 degrees. So if I move from the north to the east, that means I've completed 90 degrees. From the east to the south, another 90 degrees. From the south to the west, another 90 degrees. And from the west 
back to the north, which is the origin, another 90 degrees. So that makes it a complete evolution of 360 degrees. 360 degrees. Like I said, angles are measured in degrees. That's where you have your money in Naira, in Kobo, for Nigerian currency, in dollar. You have our time in hours, in minutes, in seconds. We have angles to be measured in degrees. Angles are measured in degrees. So, there are two ways of representing a bearing. There are two ways of representing a bearing, that is the position, the direction of a point. There are two ways to that. Now, two ways of representing a bearing. Of representing bearing. Two ways of representing bearing. We have the first one is known as the acute angle bearing. Acute angle bearing, also known as the compass bearing, because this can be measured using our compass. The acute angle bearing, or known as the word, the compass bearing. Bearing is mostly used in navigation. For sailors, navigation, for pilots, flying aircraft, bearing is what they use to know the direction, the position of where they are going to. Remember, there's no road to show that this is the road on the air or on water. Well, bearing and distance is what they use to know where they are going. So we have two ways, like we said, of representing bearing. Well, one is acute angle bearing or the compass bearing. Acute angle bearing from the word acute angle, as we have discussed under our angle, you can always refer to our videos on angles and triangles. Now, acute angle is any angle that is less than 90. So, this compass bearing now uses angle less than 90 to represent its bearing. That is from 0 to 90. Uses 0 to 90 to represent its bearing. It represents its bearing. Now, for example, we have not 40 degrees east not 40 degrees east now also note that acute angle bearing takes bearing either from the north or from the south i come again acute angle bearing takes bearing either from the north or from the south most times you see they say northeast northwest southeast southwest that is acute angle bearing from there from the north or the south when it is on the north, you face the north, and if it is east, you move towards the east. If it is not west, you stay on the north and move towards the west. If it's on if it's south, you stay on the south, and if it's southwest, you move towards the west. If it's southeast, you stay on the south and move towards the east. So it takes bearing either from the north, you start from the north, you go eastward, westward, or you start from the south and go eastward and westward. Now, we have the north 40 degrees east here. This is an example of acute angle bearing. Take note that 40 is an acute angle because it is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So therefore, we have north east. That means this uh, bearing is between the north and the east. So it's the northeast bearing of 40 degrees. So it is an acute angle bearing. Another example of acute angle bearing is south 78 degree west this means i will stay on the south and then move towards the west another example is the north 53 degrees west this means i will start from the north and go towards the west 53 degrees i will start from the north and go towards the west 53 degrees so, all these are examples of acute angle bearing, or you can call it the compass bearing. Stay tuned for the second part, where we shall be discussing the second way of representing bearing.